So it's a beautiful rainy day outside. I figure let's go ahead and do a doll review. I've already opened up the package and released her from her bonds. This is Kitty Cheshire, daughter of the Cheshire Cat. If any of you have watched the show, that you'll automatically notice her skin color is different from that. We have lavender skin here instead of normal flesh looking, which gives her uh, another worldly appeal, but it also makes it extremely difficult if you like to rebody your dolls on a, on a Barbie body to make them taller. You can't really do that with her. But that's okay, because she's cute. She's got purple hair, and she's got these beautiful cat eyes, a very light blue. Oh, here comes my cat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so... Uh, her little hat matches her purse. They're black with a cat face. The purse has a cat tail. Mm -hmm. You want to hold that? Okay. The cat the hat has little whiskers. Okay, hold on. I'm not done. I'm not done. Okay, so she's a rebel. You can see here it says rebel. And this is the first edition of her. So she comes with the bookmark uh, journal. She has a silver stand and a silver brush. No. No. She has yarn ball earrings and a ring. And over here she has a, a black charm bracelet that has uh, bells. She doesn't come with the fur wrist cuffs. Earlier editions did, but then they discontinued them for some reason. But she does have... Um, the little wrist, the little neck scarf here, which looks like fur with a little ribbon. Her dress has short fishnet sleeves. The top, the shirt part, is lavender with little hidden cat faces in the swirls. The skirt of it is purple with black lace over it. I'm not hurting you at all. I'm not touching you at all. And, um, no, it's not yours. She has tights on. These are not painted legs. They are, uh, the classic pink and purple stripes that remind everyone of the Cheshire Cat from the Disney movie. She's got, uh, little black boots on with cat ears on the sides, cat whiskers in the front, with little fur trim. Oh, yeah. Now, she doesn't have a tail, but her Way to Wonderland uh, doll, that does have a tail. But this was the first edition of her. And then there was Spring Unsprung, and then there was Way to Wonderland. But I kind of like her without a tail, because um, it probably would get in the way. I don't have the Way to Wonderland, so I don't know if it's removable or not. But, you know, a doll can sit easier when she doesn't have a tail. Can I have that little purse back? No, no, no. Okay, I'll uh, have to steal it from you later. All right. Um, one thing I really wish that they had like painted uh, fangs on her, or at least maybe like had one little tooth, just so she looks more felineish, because you can see the teeth on her mother when she's when she talks and smiles and everything. But other than that, uh, Kitty is pretty awesome. She has normal ears. And, you know, she and her mother are humanoid with feline attributes. But Bunny Blanc, um, her dad is a white rabbit. He's a short, big-footed, floppy-eared white rabbit, and she's humanoid. So there's some you know, weird genetics going along around there. But anyway, here is Kitty Cheshire. Isn't she adorable?